If there was one piece of advice that I would give to a new crypto trader, it would be to always use trailing stop losses. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to create a trailing stop loss by using the MEXC exchange. Specifically, I'm going to teach you how to do this within the futures leverage system. If you don't know who I am, my name is EQ. Welcome to Alchemy Meta, and I'm here to help you become a better crypto trader. So in this video, we're going to be using ENS, Ethereum name service, as an example. We've been watching this in our VIP trading group, mainly watching this potential double top resistance that we've already seen historically has provided a nice sell off. We're testing this range high or this relative range high right now. So if price and this resistance is able to hold, we could potentially see a nice little sell off and vice versa. If this does want to break this sell wall and break this critical volatility zone, we could potentially see this break out. And with that in mind, let's say you want to secure some profits and make sure that your trade doesn't go backwards or in the wrong direction. So for the sakes and purposes of this video, we got into a trade on ENS so I could walk you through the process of creating a trailing stop loss and kind of what this would look like on the back end of Mexi. This is my exchange of choice. And if you want to use the code above and sign up with my affiliate code, that'd be greatly appreciated. And you also get access to exclusive benefits, including 10% kickback on commissions. And as you can see, this trade is currently up 30%. So let's say I want to put a trailing stop loss just to make sure that if this does go the wrong direction and this does flip back, I don't lose any money. What I can do is if I go all the way to the right, you're going to see a take profit and stop loss button. You're going to want to click that button. And when this screen pops up, you're going to have the opportunity to choose a take profit, choose a stop loss. This is what we're going to be using in this situation. Now, when we go to price, you can see that the entry price was at 17,155. So if I put 17,155, this basically means that if price was to go back to $17.15, this will take me out of the trade so that I don't lose money. Typically in these situations, I would normally put this a little bit higher. So something like this or this, and you can start to see that this P&L is going up as I change that number. I typically secure a little bit more than what you would be paying for the gas and the transactionals fee. Now that because this trade is so small, this is a give or take where it would be on other trades. You might want to put a little bit more of a PL or more of a trailing stop loss to secure some money. Because at the end of the day, even if you were to hit a dollar every trade, if you hit a million one dollar trades, you'll make a million dollars versus if you allow these to fall back and the trade goes opposite, you're going to be losing money, potentially liquidating in a lot of situations. And the name of the game in the crypto space specifically is to learn how to not lose money. And in turn, you're going to make a lot more money. Now, I can add this trailing stop loss for this trade right now, and that'll make it so it's secure. So if this does fall back, you can see my order submission is successful. I can go to TPSL page and you can see that this trade is in and the stop loss is active. Now, let's say this trade wants to continue up or I do want to secure more of this money. I can see that the latest price is 17.3 and I'm at 17.1 is my entry. So let's slide this up to, let's say, 17.3 flat. And you'll be able to see that we'll secure four dollars if i put this at three eight and make this a really tight trailing stop loss it's going to be at six dollars and vice versa so you're able to slide this up as this price is moving up to uh, to guarantee those gains now a main reason you want to be doing that or you could be taking that as an opportunity as a trader keep in mind none of this is financial advice this is strictly for educational and entertainment purposes only but let's say hypothetically that this does break this resistance point at around 17.6 up to like 17.9 and we see a nice little impulse move. Now, if you did take profit in this zone and this takes off, you're gonna be pretty mad and you're gonna probably beat yourself up a little bit. So instead of doing that, what you can do is make sure to add those trailing stop losses. So if the trade does go in the opposite direction, you're gonna protect your ass. And if it does keep moving, you didn't get yourself out of the trade. Because the other way of this is that if you did take profits up here and price did drop, you're gonna feel like a genius for getting out before the price dipped. So you don't want to put yourself in those emotional situations and you want to take advantage of both if and when something was to happen. So that's why you'd use a trailing stop loss. So in that situation, let's say in this trade, I'm up 26%. It's only $7, but you can secure this money whenever you want. So I could put my trailing stop loss to let's say 15%. So if this does slip, you know, if the trade was bigger, if you're putting a $500,000, whatever it may be trade, this USD and this value is going to be significantly higher than what you see on a $26 trade. And as a leveraged trader, you want to get very comfortable and used to using trailing stop losses, not being greedy, taking profits when it's there and things like that, because that's what's going to keep you in this game long term. 95% of people that try to trade don't make it out of the first year. And most of those people don't make any profit in that first year because they don't know how to precisely take profit. Greed kicks in. You don't want to close trades. You think, oh, I made this much money. I might make this much more. And then next thing you know, you get swamped. So that's why you want to use these trailing stop losses to secure your money and make sure that you're not losing any. Because again, once you learn how to not lose money, you end up making a lot more money in return. And another cool feature that they do have here on MEXC is the instant close. 
So if I did want to do an instant close, it's going to automatically close this at market for the full amount. So let's say that this does start to moon and I see this hit another major resistance or it goes up to here and I want to make sure I take those profits and I don't want to wait for anything and I just want to get out because at that point you're going to be up hundreds of percent on this trade. And when that does happen, you can hit instant close and then you can hit confirm and that'll take you out of this trade immediately. And this is going to wrap up the video on how to use trailing stop losses. If you found anything useful, please make sure to drop a follow on this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go check out the Alchemy Trading Group. If you want to trade with me on MEXC and get access to group trading within our trading community, definitely use the referral link above for MEXC. And I hope everyone has an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on wherever you're tuning in in the world.